time, weather, and... Always the past. Crunch on him, man. Yo! Hey, Grub tell Tony. That's me. Hey. This is your show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, yeah. Oh. Welcome. Oh, no. This is your not. show. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, it, I feel at home. I mean, there's a there's a shower curtain this, here. This wasn't here the first guest. I just got here. Grub tell Tony. Stealing my, my shot. Stealing, stealing my shot already. Yeah. Are these Tony B steak chips? These are Tony B steak chips. Chef Swan peppercorn steak chips. This is fire. Yeah. It's like jerky, but it's not. It's a, it's packs a crunch to it. So it's it's interesting. It's not as fatty. It's it's a great it's a great freaking snack, man. I thought, I thought it was a bag of weed. I <laughs> wish it was. <laughs> got one. We got one over here. If we need to grab that out after. Uh, you mean you have hemp flavor? Hemp flavor. Oh. Ooh. Yes. So, here we are, Friday Night Lights. I am Rhymester. You guys already make Grub Hub Tony. Give it up for him. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for having me. Right. He's a chef. He has his own line of chips called, as you can see, Tony B Steak Chips. He does a vlog on food where he's in the Grub Tub and he reviews meals of all kinds. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty much it. In the nude. So I feel. I mean, <laughs> I, there's the backdrop here. I feel. Say like that slower I'm, and louder. In the nude. In the nude. <laughs> I mean, I feel I feel like I'm in the grub tub right now. I mean, with the with the shower curtain backdrop, which is nice some bubbles. And yeah, it's and clothes, man. Just, this is this is great. So, I, I'm loving it. When did your uh, love of cooking begin? Was it at a young age? Happened when you got older? Uh, it was more uh, around 19, 20, 21. Uh, I had to move back. To, yeah, so I guess not not young at all. Uh, midway through life, I guess, uh, or just figuring it out. Um, uh, my mom uh, is, is sick. She's got multiple sclerosis, so I started, like, cooking for my mom and my little brother, and I kind of, like, got into it a little yeah. bit. People like, hey, go to cooking school. Um, I was like, just, no, yeah, you freaking jag off. I'm not, going to, I'm, not going to, I'm not going to cooking school. Are you serious? Um, so then a year later, still enjoy, you know, cooking, uh, you know, for my family, and then I was like, okay, a little bit more of a reality um, of like a future kind of sort of in it. Um, I've always been like an artsy kind of person. Um, yeah. So this is like my channel, like through like an art scene is through, you know, food. So the that presentation been, of how you present it, food exactly, or review food. Exactly. And the whole like preparation of it is, is a whole art form. So then I, I moved to Chicago, uh, Valentine's Day 2011. Uh, so almost 10 years, nine, 10 years. I don't know. Not good at math, obviously. Uh, but yeah, I came here, been in the, the food industry for nine, 10 years, whatever it was. So um, it's been great. It's been great. Oh, I yeah, can't. It, 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 it led me here to this awesome freaky deaky room we got going on. <laughs> that we do. So about a year ago, you launched uh, the food vlog, and you started with Naked and Not Afraid. Naked and, and not, not Afraid. No, not at all. Um, so kind of the backstory behind that, I stopped drinking, and I needed, uh, I needed to feel, fill that time that where like, I wasn't you know, out at the bars getting hammered. So like, I started eating in my bathtub. I have this sick-ass jacuzzi bathtub. Um, Blows jets into all the wrong places, um, <laughs> or the right, or the right places, <laughs> or the right places. So that just started, just started eat my food in, you know, my bathtub as kind of like decompress after like a long day, um, and then I started videotaping myself and saying some silly shit, and be like, oh, you should do something with it. And then I bought an expensive camera that I couldn't afford, um, and had some friends help me out, and. You know, even to to doing it by myself, then to having uh, chef friends join me in the tub and then cook their food in the tub, which was pretty freaking gnarly. How many episodes in are you? I've seen about, um, I've seen about a good 10, 15. Yeah, there. about 10, 15. Yeah. Um, and then I, I was COVID yeah. um, happened. And, uh, nobody wants to get in the tub yeah, with you. Yeah, I can't get close to anybody, especially when you're naked, man. I can't even be naked and nobody will get close to me. So, Jesus. This is separate. the is hard, man. Okay, we're going to bounce back. So how did you doing that evolve into 
the Tony B steak chip. Into the steak chip. So I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a hillbilly from Wisconsin. So like, always loved eating uh, beef jerky growing up. Like the, you had like the floss, and like kind of like, you know, have you ever had that? Comes in like the, the tin, like the jerky or the, like the chew tin. Yeah, like the, uh, yeah, I know, yeah. Like so like, yeah, exactly. That, yeah. So like, you feel like you're cool and shit while you're like dipping and stuff like that. So like, always loved. You know, like the jerky and the pork floss, uh, and then when I started to cook and cook professionally, um, started to make jerky at home and um, stumbled on this product um, that is kind of it's kind of, it's extremely innovative. Like there's uh, it's not a chip and it's not beef jerky, so it's like it's in its own lane, like its own food lane. So we're trying to trying to blow that shit up in 2020, which is it's doing a great job. So yeah. How long ago was that that you would come up with it, or had your first uh, um, prototype? This is this has been years. This has oh, been in the making. Yeah, the it's making. been years in the making, and never really had uh, the time to like mass produce it, sit down, uh, come up with like branding and packaging and stuff like that. Because I, you know, working as a chef full time, you know, yeah, it's yeah. like 60, 70 hours a week sometimes. So like, you don't want to do shit when you're off of work. Like, you don't you don't want to do anything. You eat McDonald's. And jerk off. Shout out to Keem. McDonald's is his favorite place. Favorite place. Look, what do you get at McDonald's, man? Don't you put it on High five. Now do that in the hot tub. Here's the next guest, Keem. Uh, so was, was it like COVID that kind of forced you to be like, exactly. I got all this time on my hands? Exactly. It's kind of like makes a blessing. You don't want to say it almost. Exactly. It's a, exactly. It's a blessing in disguise because then, you know, for, for a month, I, you know, I was working on, you know, website, branding, uh, packaging, stuff like that. And, you know, I'm just, I just watching people at home just order all the shit online. Like, everybody's ordering everything online. Amazon's backed up. Nobody can get their packages. And I'm like, why, why shouldn't I, like, you know, package, you know, these steak chips that I've been wanting to do for so long and just pull the trigger on that and not add anybody just um, it, yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. Um, Metaphorical trigger, <laughs> uh, but it's been uh, it's it's been great. It's been you know the the, the city of Chicago, my friends, fellow chefs, um, bars, restaurants, breweries. Uh, they're all you know extremely supportive of this product, um, which makes it easier and it's good as fuck. So yeah, yeah, that, um, that also helps. <laughs> Do you see yourself diving into? more snacks, more foods? Is this the first of many to come? Or? You know, I kind of, I, I do. I, I kind of want to venture out of the kitchen for a little bit. I know that, I know what it takes to, to run a kitchen. Um, and honestly, I don't, I'm so unsure of, of what's going to happen in the, in the restaurant and food scene um, now uh, with, the, with, with COVID and the virus that I, I don't, yeah. I, I, I don't want to take that chance. So like, you know, venture out, bet on myself, um, and, you know, just keep plugging away like, you know, like any other artist uh, would. Like, you know, you have a lot of shitty days, but, you know, those few good days, um, it, it, really, it really means everything. It, yeah, it means it. everything. Yeah. Um, and then that, you know, brings you back to, you know, this is why, this is why you do it. You know, because, you know, for me, it's, you know, it's making people happy through and if I'm, you know, not cooking in a kitchen and they're not coming to a restaurant, like, I want to create something that, you know, they can have whenever they want. Yeah, that's amazing. What's some uh, top three foods that you have? Top three foods? Like, yeah. Like, just in general food? Yeah, like yours. Yeah. Uh, pizza, cheeseburgers. <sighs> Fuck, I love cheeseburgers. <laughs> um, and, and potato. Potato is so, like... Versatile, versatile, potatoes, French fries. Yeah, man. Scallops, Anything you can make. Anything. Potatoes, chips. Chips, but chips. not not a meat chip. But like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's a very, 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 very awesome product. So, <laughs> what are some things you got coming up? Some merchandise. I see we got the Grub Tub Tony. You got some T-shirts. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get some T-shirts. Um, I'm really gonna just gonna focus on you know on the Tony B steak chip brand for now, maybe. You know, hold off. Um, actually, I'm not going to hold off on the grub tub. I'm just going to step that up a little bit. But <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> you know, gotta have gotta have people in the tub. You know, people, and you know, it's cool to for people to reach out and ask for you know to come in the tub. But you know, for this, I just want to focus on this. You know, get some merch, and you know, as well as give back to the community. You know, the month month of June, 
uh, 30% of my uh, proceeds, or 30% of you know what I earned uh, from these steak chips went to uh, my blog, my block, my hood, my city. So like, I I, I want to give back as much as I can. I know I'm still a new business, but like I want to do as much as I can and help the people that have got me to this place um, where I'm at now. So. Uh, you always got to show support to the community. Of course. Even, of course. Even when you get bigger, always come back. Yeah. Always come back. Yeah. Always come back. So, let the people know where they can find you, the website, where exactly. they can the chips. Um, website at Tony B Steak Chips. Uh, just DM me. I'll shoot you some steak chips. Uh, mail or I'll drop these bitches off. Um, and check out me at Rub Tub Tony uh, for some bathroom delights. And if you want to get in the tub with them, hit his DM. Just hit slide, just belly flop in the DS, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back on Friday Night Lights. Yeah. 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 And that's my rope. There you go. That was, that was, Appreciate that was, it, man. That was awesome.